Okay, we're removing bees from a tree. We're going to use the trap out method. It's kind of amazing that about 70% of the jobs I do with tree removals are in camp for laurels. But anyway, here we go. So the first um, rule of doing the trap out is that you've got to be able to get the bees coming and going from only one entry point. The trap out can't start until you've got them just coming and going from the one spot. Anyway, this one should be straightforward. We've got this bit of plywood we can put over the hole and provided I can get it well sealed, there's no other entry points into the tree and I, I think that side of it's going to be pretty straightforward. So once we've got that single entry point, we can uh, close it off with a trap out cone and then we can add the trap out box to it. Using the uh, Hive IQ boxes today, I reckon they're probably the best, uh, the best hive on the market. They're an EPS hive and the bees do love them. I like to add a, a weak colony to my trap out box. Uh, it'll have one or two frames of open brood in it. I have a very small population of bees. I also have a queen. The thing is what we're trying to do is attract the foraging bees that have been trapped out of the tree into our trap out box. Now if we've got a really strong colony inside our trap out box, they're going to fight the foragers. But if we've got a, a weak colony, they're going to be very unlikely to resist the foragers coming in with pollen and, and um, nectar. We're just going to open the gate and just see what happens. Usually it takes a little while for those trapped out bees to start reorientating. But look, it's, it's actually unfolding pretty quickly today. Foraging bees really just want to offload their, their resources and get back to, to the job at, at hand. And um, if they turn up and can't back, get back into the original nest entry, then they're just going to look for another place to offload their nectar and pollen and you can see that they're already just marching into the new box. It's easy to tell because we can see those those bees with the big pollen sacks on their back legs that are, are marching right in. They're definitely not from the original or the, the little donor colony that I've added. Those bees just haven't had the time to get out there and forage yet. You know they're loving that new box aren't they? If you haven't seen the high IQ boxes go and check them out. They are top quality stuff. Anyway, this whole process will unfold over the next maybe four or five weeks. By then, we'll have these feral bees out of this invasive weed tree, and the uh, owner can get back to mowing and brush cutting around their backyard.